Tics. Welcome back to the channel. First day out on Lake Havasu. Super pumped to get out here. Didn't get to bed last night until like 2 o'clock in the morning, so slept in a little bit because I don't want to start off the entire trip hammered and tired because there's plenty of time to get tired out here, that's for sure. First day on Lake Havasu. The fishing has been tough, but we're going to give it a go and see what we can come up with. So this tournament is sponsored by GCI Outdoor, Six Sense Fishing, Waterland Fishing Optics, and Do It Molds. Really looking forward to being out here, and I think these Waterland sunglasses are gonna play a huge factor in this event or in this practice for sure, because literally, as I was just idling out to get past all the pleasure boaters and everything like that, I could see grass on the bottom, I could see bluegill flying around, I could see that little chartreuse color on the back of their tail, all because I could cut down the glare and see down in the water and see what's down there. Finding grass, I think, is going to be very important this time of year out here on Lake Havasu. It's like 100 degrees already out here today, so these sunglasses are going to be a big, big player. If you guys want to check them out, go to waterlandcode.com. Use my code LUNA15. It's going to save you a bunch of money off your purchases at Waterland. So while we're out here practicing today, we're going to be talking about six different ways that you can make money in fishing. Some of them you guys can apply right away and be able to make money while fishing to follow along my day and I'm going to give you some ideas on how to make money in the fishing industry. So when I started this whole Matt Luna fishing thing, my goal was to be able to fish full time at some point, whether that was through tournament fishing, through social media and sponsorships and stuff like that, that was the main goal. Matt Luna fishing, the, the Instagram page, the YouTube channel was all created for a purpose to try to be able to do this stuff for a living. So obviously one way to make money in the fishing industry is through sponsorship. And that's the first one everybody thinks of when it comes to how do I make money? How do I pay for tournaments? How do I get more tackle? And everybody wants to go directly to sponsorship but a lot of times people don't have anything to offer a sponsor, so that part of the game can be really, really tough. Even now with almost 30,000 followers on Instagram, 30,000 followers on, on uh, TikTok, uh, you know, almost 7,000 subscribers on YouTube, getting new sponsors is always difficult. It's, it's never an easy process, no matter how large you are or how big your following is. Even if you've built a following that's large enough to attract sponsors, you still have to a lot of times go out and find the companies that are interested in you. They don't just find you in most cases. So you gotta find out who to contact, which is hard. You gotta hope they actually see your email, which is hard. You gotta hope that they're gonna respond to you, which is hard. And then you gotta hope that they're gonna come to an agreement with you on what you need out of that sponsorship deal, whether it's product, whether it's money or whatever. You guys have to come to an agreement and that's not always easy either. Well, it's gotten so hot that the GoPro's turned off, but just got bit flipping. Six cents prawn. These are not the fish that we want, but at least it's a start. It's a fish, at least flipping. Got a uh, three quarter ounce weight, flipping hook, six cents prawn. Nice little Lake Havasu bass right there. So the second way that we're gonna talk about making money in the fishing world is through tournament fishing. Everybody knows that making money in the fishing world can be done through fishing tournaments. There's a lot of money to be made in tournament fishing, but making money while fishing tournaments is also very difficult. It's not the easiest thing to do. You have to have a great finish in order to truly make money because it's gonna cost you around $4,000 in a lot of situations to fish an open, to fish a Toyota series. So you're gonna need, you know, top five, a win in order to truly make money after finishing that tournament and paying for all the expenses. Don't get me wrong though, tournament fishing is a place where you can make money. If you win a tournament, you're gonna make a lot of money. If you're gonna win an elite series event, you're gonna make a lot of money. If you win the classic, you're gonna make a lot of money. And a lot of times the sponsorship stuff can come in hand in hand with tournament success. But ideally, you're gonna have tournament success along with a social media following, along with the YouTube channel, because all of that makes you more valuable to a company. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. Little guy. Now, what we're looking for. Little one. 
So the next way that we're going to talk about to make money in the fishing world is through guiding. Guiding can be very lucrative. Um, I know a lot of guys that guide. Some of them in California, some of them in San Diego, some of them in Arizona. I think in most situations you're definitely going to want to have a boat for that, but I think somebody that's savvy enough and can market it could create a guide service on the bank as well. If you know where all the secret spots are, if you're able to catch fish a lot on the bank better than everybody else, then there's definitely a market for that. If you have access to different ponds, different lakes that nobody else has access to, then you might have a very good guide business just doing it off the bank. Also, if you're a really good fisherman, you could do fishing lessons from the bank. I got a buddy that has done seminars. He's done fishing lessons from the bank. You can do all kinds of stuff if you put your mind to it, you market it, you find the right people. Every one of us knows something in the fishing world that we can help somebody out with, and that's worth money in a lot of situations. You just gotta find the right people that are willing to pay you that money for that service. Far from what we need, but it's a bite. I'm a buzz baiter. Buzz bait. The next way to make money in the fishing world is by finding something to sell. Obviously this could be tackle, but if you want to have a sponsorship in the tackle industry, tackle may not be your best bet. I started off with my do-it molds making drop shot weights because I wanted to be able to sell the drop shot weights. I wanted to be able to save money on them. And then I just started scaling it and now I sell drop shot weights in tungsten and in lead in multiple stores, online, in store, in local shops, and it's a great way to make money. Finding the right thing to sell is easier said than done and I know that, but you gotta put your mind to it, it takes work. All these things are gonna take work. You're not gonna be able to make money in the fishing world without working. Just going out and fishing with nobody watching and nobody knowing what's going on isn't gonna make you any money. There is work involved, it takes work to make money. Even when you're out fishing or even when you're selling something in a tackle shop, it takes work to get that product in that store. It takes work to get people to wanna to buy it. So all these different things are still gonna take work for you to accomplish. There we go. There's another one. There's one. Damn, there's, there we go, still on there. There we go. There we go, that's a decent one. That's a decent one. That's uh, not that big actually, it's about a pound and a halfer. <laughs> Best one of the day though so far. Buzz baiting them. Buzz baiting them. It's a fun way to catch them, but we need better fish than that. The next way that we're gonna talk about making money from fishing is YouTube. And if you don't have a YouTube channel and you're trying to make money from fishing, you are missing out. If you're not on YouTube, you're gonna have a hard time getting sponsorship. You're not making money from YouTube. It takes time before you can make money on YouTube. You literally have to have 4,000 hours of watch time and over 1,000 subscribers. And even when you get to that point, you're not making a whole lot of money. I make between 100 and 150 bucks a month from YouTube and I have over 6,000, almost 7,000 subscribers. Even when you have that many subscribers, that doesn't mean everybody's gonna be watching your videos. It takes time to make money from YouTube, but it is a viable option. People are making a living from YouTube. You might be better at it than I am and you'll be able to make more money from YouTube than I do. But it's just a matter of getting on there, putting out the content, growing the following, and then sponsorships come along with it. There we go. There we go. Little guy. Crankbait fish though. Right in the grass. Right in the grass. Little guy. Really a little guy, but he ate it good. Don't hook me, fish. There we go. Crankbaiter. So a way that you can start making money right away, it doesn't take any following or anything like that, you just need people to see your content and it's through affiliate links. So basically what affiliate links are is you sign up for the account through like Amazon Associates or something like that. I'm an affiliate for Omnia Fishing and basically what that means is I get links from those places, I add them into a blog post on my website, onto my Instagram story or something like that or into my YouTube videos and anytime somebody clicks on that link, goes to the website and buys something from that website, I will then get commission off of those sales 
you can do that from day one on YouTube. You don't have to have a huge following. You don't have to have ads on your videos. And you can do it in blogs. You can do it on Instagram. You can do it on Facebook. You can do it all over the place. So affiliate links are a great place to start in order for you to start making money right away from your content. There we go. Got one. Got a small mouth. Here, jig small mouth. Stay on fish. Stay on fish. There we go. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Take that. Well, the first day of practice hasn't been a total bust. Found a few things, but really nothing that I'd want to weigh in. But first day, haven't been out here in a long time, so not too distraught right now. Would have loved to have caught some better fish, but it is what it is first day. All right, so that bonus way to make money in the fishing industry is media. And what I mean by media is video, pictures, blogs, articles, all that kind of stuff. Every business in America needs content. Content is everything right now. They need it for Instagram, they need it for TikTok, they need it for YouTube, they need it for their website, they need it for marketing. Every business needs that kind of stuff. If you're good at taking pictures, if you're good at editing video, if you're good at filming video, that is something that you can look into. Now it's gonna take work, just like everything that I've talked about. Everything to make money in the fishing industry will take work. No different than if you wanna get a job, you gotta to go to work and you, that's how you get paid. It's the same thing in fishing. It's not as simple as just going out there and fishing and someone writes you a check. It just doesn't happen. Let me know down in the comment section which way you guys thought was best in order to make money in the fishing industry. What one you think you guys can put to use yourself. Um, if you guys want to watch more of my content, make sure to hit one of the playlists or the video that's on the screen right now. And now would be a great time to like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys tomorrow bright and early for day number two out here on Havasu.